Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today. Isn't it so cute? Okay, so this is the box I shared with you last Friday. And on Saturday or Sunday, I figured out how to make this big box into this teeny tiny box. Here are the supplies. We've got balmy blue cardstock that measures six and a half by four and a quarter. Then we've got another piece that measures three and a half by one and nine sixteenths. And then another scrap for our scallop circle. Then we've got um, Gingham Gala Designer Series paper. We have the back panel piece, and that's three and a quarter by one and five sixteenths. And then we've got three pieces for the front and for the side that measure one and a half by one and a quarter. We've got a whisper white scrap here for our image, and then I've got a scallop circle that I cut out with the layering circles framelits. You could use the one and a half inch circle punch if you wanted to um, just have a circle instead of a scallop circle. Okay, so we're gonna start with the box, and I'm gonna get the Simply Scored scoring tool. Okay, so I'm gonna place it on the four and a quarter side first, and I'm gonna score it at one and two and a half. And then I'm gonna score it on the six and a half inch side at one and two and a half. And I'm gonna repeat that on the other side. So one and two and a half. When I'm done making this box, I'll show you the candies that fit in here. Okay, so I'm gonna fold on the score lines. Now, here's my template, okay? So I'm gonna remove this part. And then cut up to the score line. And then I'm gonna remove and then trim and trim. It's made exactly like the big one, okay? It's just much smaller. Okay, this part's done for now. Okay, so this is our back panel. And what we're gonna do is take the Detail Trio Punch and we're gonna round the top of the box and we're gonna round the Designer Series paper. Make sure you have that all the way in there, okay? And then we're gonna attach that. So I'm just gonna use my snail. Don't forget this pack of paper is back in stock. If you want it, I would say don't wait. I know some of you are gonna wait till the end of March and then you're gonna be very sad. <laughs> okay, so now let's take the half inch circle punch and punch the hole for our ribbon. Now we're gonna go back to assembling our box, okay? So I'm gonna get my tear and tape, and what I wanna do is add adhesive to these two tabs. I'm gonna give this one a little bit more of a trim. Okay, so tear and tape. So while I'm adding the tear and tape, I'll talk to you for a few minutes. So I posted on my Facebook group, I asked the question of which stamp set did they want to see on my project during my Facebook Live video. I don't know what the results are because I'm actually filming this video beforehand. So I'm going to show you the three uh, or the other two options that we have for this box. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna let them vote and tell me which one I'm gonna be making on Facebook. Okay, so I'm just gonna assemble this. 
just like that and then assemble that and then this is going to go just like that okay you have to be very careful about this because you want that to line up there so you could if you wanted to you could put that on the inside and this on the outside but i'm going to stick by the original way that i make this and i'm going to put my tear and tape right there okay and this box is a little dainty it's a little small so you can actually put adhesive on this whole piece when you're making the larger one you don't want to because you're going to have adhesive on the inside of the box that's not the case for this one see it, you can't see through there so you can put tear and tape on the entire piece hopefully that made sense if not watch that other one and you'll see what i mean about this last piece of adhesive okay so what I'm going to do is line that up that side up first and technically let's do it like this okay so there and then I'm just going to make sure I'm lining up the top I'm not too concerned about this piece down here that's the back of our box it doesn't really matter okay and then give that a squeeze so there it is okay so now we're going to assemble the back panel to our box also using tear and tape <laughs> This is a tear and tape friendly box. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay this flat and then turn this over. And I don't wanna press too hard. I just wanna pick it up and make sure it lines up and it does. So be generous with your adhesive because if you don't, then you're going to have the gaps, okay? Since this is just my sample, I'm not too concerned about it. You could always pour in a little liquid glue right there. Okay, so now let's add our designer series paper. So let's stamp. I'm going to use the same one I did here, the Cute Crew. This does come with that awesome, awesome, awesome punch. So if you order the, the punch box, you get the punch, the stamp set, the watercolor pencils, and um, one other thing, <laughs> the ink. Okay, I'm going to give that a second to dry. I'm going to go ahead and take the 1 and 3 8 scallop circle punch and cut out the balmy blue. I've already cut out, like I said, the scallop circle with the silver foil. So I'm going to go ahead and take a couple glue dots and attach this to the silver foil. Uh, glue dots or dimensionals work best when you're attaching things to the foil paper or not foil what is this this is not foil this is the glimmer glitter <laughs> so rewind all that hopefully y'all understand okay so now this one's going to get cut out with the one and a quarter circle punch i could have used that darling punch that comes with this stamp set but if you don't have layers to layer and i just love adding the little touch of the silver glitter back there I'm going to take two markers. Here's the other two images. So Best Bunny and the Fable Friends. So if we were using Fable Friends, we would use the Daffodil Delight Light with the Balmy Blue. If we're doing Best Bunny, just Balmy Blue. And if we're doing the Thinking of You, Light Granny Apple Green and Balmy Blue. So I'm going to start with the Granny Apple Green and just color the leaves. Okay, and now I'm going to take the light balmy blue. And because this marker is light, I would say don't get carried away about coloring over the black ink, okay? We 
we could color his nose, his beak, daffodil. There we go. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I'm just going to turn that over and add it with snail. Use your favorite adhesive. And then we're going to add the ribbon now. So we're using the polka dot with the silver baker's twine. Okay, so for the polka dot, I'm just going to bring it through here. Okay, so now we're going to take the silver baker's twine. Okay, so I do need to clean up the ribbon. Okay, so now I promised you I was going to show you the candy that would fit in here. So I've got some of these Reese's, um, Hershey Kisses. So let me show you. You can fit a couple of these in there, see? Or you can add probably four of the Hershey Kisses. These are Rolos. Same thing, you could fit four of those. And these these little, what are they called? Trolley Sour Gummy Crunchers. <laughs> My husband and I were eating these last night. I would say two fits in there comfortably, okay? So lots of choices for candy. Now I'm gonna add this with a dimensional to the front of the box. Don't forget, um, there will be a free PDF over on my website on how to make this project. It'll have pictures and, um, yeah, all the details. Okay, so that wraps up this project. It's super cute, isn't it? Have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye.